explained to me before that when you were a kid on the carpet, your mom's playing Strys and Page, Phantom of the Opera becomes your favourite. Yeah. Did you kind of get a buzz then in your mind that every kid loves music, hopefully, but certainly there's only a few who say, this is actually my life, I want to do this. Did you feel that? Do you think at any point early on? That it was... All, that it was Could be a career, could be a life. Oh, yeah. Like, it was all, it was all I ever did. Just, like, I wasn't into sports or anything like that as a child. Like, and I know a lot of children are. Yeah. But um, for me, it was just always music. It was always performing, um, like, doing school shows and everything. And then I got enrolled. My mum enrolled me with Gladys Sheen on yeah, a Friday right, Gladys, evening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. A lot of, a lot of great people She's came She's a patron through. saint, really, of, 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 of entertainment. You know, in this town, especially in Bray and all that. Yeah. She is for sure. Yeah, she has. Um, she, she's credited with a lot. I think yeah. you know, there's a lot of people who came up through the ranks there. But I used to go there on a Friday after school, and then like I couldn't wait until next Friday, you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> to get back. So I don't know if it's something that um, if it's an unusual thing to, to yeah. want to perform or something like that. I don't know. I suppose yeah. everybody just has, you know, some, for some people their passion is horse riding. Sure. For some people it's ga. Yeah, it's you know. For, just, like, for me, it was always performing, singing, and dancing. I, and I think everybody has music and and performance yeah. in them as a kid, and it's just sort of other things take over and all. So most people start to develop a, a sort of shyness about being in front of people when they're teenagers and onwards. Yeah. And that, that's something that is, uh, I'm guessing, just given the love you had for it, was never an issue. It was never like, oh, I don't know about getting up in front of people anymore. Um, thankfully, yeah, I've always been okay now. I'm not saying yeah. I don't get nervous. Right. I do. Right. But I think they're good nerves. And actually, nerves kind of fuel your performance yeah, in yeah. a way. If, if you can control them, if you can harness them and uh, turn them into a positive. Oh, it's an energy, you know? all right. It is yeah. an energy. That's it, exactly. Yeah. I think if you're... If you're not nervous, I'd say it's something to worry about. So yeah, uh, yeah but it's, again, it's not having your nerves like debilitating. It's being able to use it to fuel your performance. Well, if you're not nervous, you turn into Bon Jovi. It's very dangerous. Sure. If you, if you don't feel an actual <laughs> kick and fear Absolutely. about it. <laughs> but I think also like the fact that I did performance um, as a child and up through the ranks. I'm, you know, I'm always fine on, on front of people um, in a in a public kind of space so I think it's probably good for even if you don't go into this professionally I think it's good for children to, to do drama yeah. so even when they're in an interview situation for work or giving a work presentation or something like that so they don't they can break that, into so. song it, it sort of helps into, they can shake it up a little bit <laughs> Firestarter would always go down well in any interview if you want to just throw it in there now, uh, a lot bit, of things musical it's a big leap from St David's and, and Gladys Sheen to, to Mount View in London yeah. was, was it a, a major leap for you was it just a very natural feeling that of course I'm going to go somewhere Yeah, like it was always, like I always knew I was going to perform, but um, did my Legion search in St. David's obviously and my parents, and to this day, it was the right decision, they begged me, they just said, just do something else. Right. So I went to UCT, right. and I did business and legal studies. <laughs> So I have a law degree. <laughs> nice. I might, I might need your advice later on, oh, but we'll God. talk. <laughs> Which I somehow managed to get through, just kept on passing the exams. <laughs> so I came out with my business and legal degree. All my friends from UCD went on then to, to King's Inn and, and Blackhall Place to do their, to their legal career path. Yeah. I ran away and Well, that's the, the thing theater. now, to, to decide between Legally Blonde and Legally Blonde the Musical, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a very <laughs> <Exactly>. different... <laughs> So it was. It was obviously something that you knew. I don't know yeah. all the time during all that study that you thought I was I'm going to do this for sure. Yeah, and I'm going to be. Yeah, because I was still doing while I was still studying. I was still doing like amateur shows. So that's really where I cut my teeth as well in the right. amateur societies. It round up in like Last Nevin, the Rat Minds Work Bar Musical Society. Ah, nice. They are great stomping grounds. They're great training grounds. And then from then, like I played roles with those musical societies, and then graduated from UCD. Um, I got into river dance toured around the States at Riverdance as a singer nice. and I went to see we had we had time off from the show and we were in Chicago and I think we were supposed to be playing some some theatre and I think it was like blown away by a tornado or something in Illinois so we all <laughs> took a couple of days off went up to Chicago where I saw the touring production of Wicked oh wow it was Anna Gastar was in, the, was in the part and I hadn't I hadn't I heard the music from the show I hadn't I didn't know anything about the show just went along with everybody saw Wicked saw what it was, heard her belting out that high E, high S, and I was like, I want to 
be able to do that. And I knew at the time I didn't have the vocal, that vocal ability, so I knew I needed to go learn my craft, train professionally, so that's how I left over to my then, and just did my time learning my craft over there. I often think, like, for somebody who's into musicals and into the stage, to go anywhere near the West End, it's a bit like, you know, being a, a kind of a guitar band and decide, I'm going to move to Liverpool in 1965, and because the yeah. Beatles are doing so well, I'm going to do it too. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a sense that so many people are there and so many people have that same yeah. passion and drive was that a, a, a kind of easy to, to live with that you knew that well, this is kind of a difficult gig really to, to make sure you make a living from it make sure your life yeah for sure I mean I was I surround my, my London life over there I was I don't think I knew anybody outside of the business you know all my friends I was immersed in it completely like all my friends were showbiz because I had them from college and then you know through people you meet other people so I just I hung out with actors the whole time and it was deadly <laughs> it was brilliant um, I know it is like London is it's a great place and when you're in a show over there it's amazing when you're not in a show over there it can really kind of get you down and it, and it's always that dreadful thing too when you're friends in a show and you're not you love them but you don't love them that much right now <laughs> it's like, I'm so happy for you. and then like you nearly have to be careful like you know if you're if you're out having a coffee yeah. situation and you have an audition coming and your friend who's also the same age of you, as you who's also a soprano who also has blonde hair who also you know and you're like you want to tell them you have the audition but then you don't just in case they get onto their agent and say get me that audition you know it's it's that, uh, but then you are rooting for all your friends as well. It's like, oh, it's a weird kind of. A I situation. think the thing to remember is that if you've got a friend who's got in the same, basically going for the same parts and all that, find out the blood type. And if ever they're in an accident and <laughs> you're the one who has to tell the ambulance which blood type he is, give a different blood type oh, so that way they can handle rejection in a different way. <laughs> We should say show tunes, big part of your life. We said yeah. mentioned Phantom of the Opera was yeah. your favourite growing up. Yeah. I know uh, you've touched on Broadway before, obviously the West End. So putting this show together with Chris and Dave, I'm guessing it was just a very natural, happy occasion. It is. It is. And to be honest with you, like we were in email contact at the moment, like working on the set list. And we're just so excited to be able to do that again. You know, yeah. it's like it's a real buzz. I can't tell you how buzzy <laughs> we are about this. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's like, our, our main challenge at the moment is it's a 75 minute show so usually like we do two halves of an interval but covid so they're yes. just taking it so it's kind of narrowing it down you know right. because obviously we want to sing everything and we know everything <laughs> yeah. we, we know all the big belters you yeah, know? Yeah. But so we're just trying to contain it and make it the, the best 75 minutes um of, of of the stuff that people know as well because we know a whole range of things like we know the obscure musicals as well right but i don't know if they really land very well with an audience Do you know it's you always a risk it? it's like if you're a dj you, you could say there's yeah. a great northern soul song but you don't know if anyone knows it and you know yeah. there's a sort of yeah. chance that it just won't fill the floor yeah and i've kind floor. of done gigs yeah. before like yeah. with other people where we've done something from uh, you know uh, dear evan hansen or whatever yeah. some of these new things and the audience are like <laughs> and you're like, okay, yeah. that didn't land. I don't now. have that at home, I'm afraid. So, so, uh, <laughs> so the idea too now that that people are only beginning to, I think now, and it's it's been a very slow process for me, for many people, my friends, just to start thinking outside the house is a is a big yeah. deal. It's, a, it's a, even going into a restaurant or yeah. you know, it's yeah. still still kind of early days. So, yeah. by the time this comes around at the end of October, it's going to be a lot easier. Hopefully, it just seems to be heading hoping. that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm really hoping because. Um, yeah, and then it's understandable, even with vaccination. I know people yeah. are still hesitant to come out. I understand that completely. Like, yeah. I'm fully vaccinated, but I still prefer to sit outside, you know, when there is the option. But um, hopefully, people will start getting their confidence back. Yeah. And as you know, the news kind of is brightening up a bit and our numbers sure. all stabilising. I'm really hoping that people that, that people will get the confidence to come back to the theatre. And I know the Whale are doing a fabulous job. In, yeah. You know, and making people feel safe. Um, so yeah, hoping hoping that there'll be a good turnout. I know there's a couple of tickets flying out anyway. I've had I've had texts from various people going, can't wait. It'll be my first trip back to the theatre. So and for you, I don't know whether you've had a chance to get in front of an audience before this. Will this be the first time? I don't know if you've had the chance to test the water and, since COVID. Yeah, um, in the last. I, no, so this will be my first time in front of an, a live audience and in the room. Now I did right. do um, back in November. No, in March. Back in I think, was August, it? Oh, I yeah. did. Uh, a show in the National Concert Hall with festival productions. It was it was live, but it was live streamed, okay. so there was no right. audience. So we were all on the stage. It was there with the orchestra. It was um, it was called Songbook. It was yeah. something similar, you know, um, right. musicals uh, concert. But uh, it was TV cameras. It was like your cameras dotted all over the auditorium 
nobody. It was it was very surreal. It was very surreal because you do miss that energy that the audience bring because the audience to me are like another cast member. Sure. You vibe against them. You bounce off them. You kind of you, t you see kind of. Um, you know, if, if well, there's an energy the thing. There's an energy thing comes from them. It's like people being cheered on in a race. They will run faster. They will run yeah. a little bit longer if it's there's a connection. So the yeah. same thing, like when I'm on the stage with Chris, like I have a connection with Chris, I have a connection with David on keys, but you have that connection with the audience as well. Um, you know, so I just, oh, geez, I just can't wait. To get back. <laughs> I actually, I can't wait to get back. And I'm a bit like, I'm wondering, like, obviously I say, you know, I still have nerves which I can harness, but I'm just really hoping that I still remember how to harness them because it's just been so long, Paul. It's sure. been, like, well, when was it? Yeah. Well, I, I think people will, will sort of recognise that's part of the magic of, of stepping back out there. You know, like yeah. somebody getting back up on roller skates or something. It's it's perfectly fine as a bit of a wobble. You know, people will yeah. understand. And if anything, it makes it more human and more kind of relatable. And that sense we're actually stepping back out yeah, again. Yeah, and it's why we don't put in the DVD and watch something perfect. It's well, why we go and see live theatre as well. That's it. Just in the hope that somebody falls over. It's always a joy to <laughs> see some mistakes. The so, YouTube sensation. Just for those who, who are... And we have this wonderful uh, young man in, 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 in Graceland's here, uh, Maui uh, Levy Lawler, who's up for the Junior Eurovision. She, he's auditioning now. We're doing a heat oh. on Sunday. He loves the. He loves that. He did the Late Late Toy Show. He's a, he loves his singing. Loves it. Uh, loves these musicals. Is there for you, given how deep you're into it, if somebody was just sort of looking for something special right now, are there certain like you mentioned some of the obscure ones? Would you have a favourite now? Is it still fun for the opera? Would you have a favourite? Favourite musical? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um. Do you know what? I'm, while it is my industry, I'm really bad with all the new ones that are coming out. Like I haven't kept up to date. Right. Um, love Phantom of the Opera. Lovely news. Wicked. But I, I'm a sucker for the classic book musicals as well. Right. So My Fair Lady. I just adore My Fair Lady. Right. I know it's not it's sure. not a cool thing yeah, to yeah, say, yeah. but I genuinely love My Fair Lady. But come here. I watched Diana the musical. On I watched it too. Holy moly. The frocky <laughs> horror picture show. I thought it was like the springtime for Spencer. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Now, I had to, I watched it in twenty minutes, but I watched it over a week, like because yeah. I could only take it in twenty minutes. But I had to get through. I was like, that's. That, just... need, that needed about three beers for me to get through it. Oh, I just wasn't no. able to. I mean, the, the costume changes were amazing. Yeah, but, yeah, like, and there's talent in there and all that, but it was I it feel... was springtime for Spencer. It was just so mental. Right, I just thought, yeah. well, who wrote that lyric? Like it. Thing is, I think yeah. I'll make a whole load of money out of it because it's such a, a who knows? Pop, it's yeah, yeah. A success. Well, like I think Netflix is the great sort of breeding ground for that. Nobody feels cheated because they didn't pay for that particular, you know, yeah, like yeah, they yeah. went into the theater. So they'll yeah. it'll probably get a lot of hits and, and streams, and before you know it, it's in, in profit. It'll probably be like a rock and horror, rocky horror yeah. thing where there's a following. Rocky <laughs> horror picture show. It was outrageous. And just very finally, yes. what Book of Mormon, Hamilton? Do you do you kind of get the, the why people go to these yeah. slightly left field kind of and, and a political and? I never I never saw Hamilton. Um, uh, live mm. tickets are yeah, yeah. distortion but um, I watched it on Disney Plus it's phenomenal that, right. it's is I haven't phenomenal. seen it yet. Oh yeah, yeah. God, it's well worth the watch. It really is. Um, and I'm dying to see Book of Mormon. That that I think would be fun. Yeah, coming. this is the South Park guys. So hopefully, yeah, yeah. but apparently funny. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. But Hamza in particular is just so creative. It's just art. It's yeah. amazing. Really, really good. And I will say, good luck on on the 30th. I'll be down there. Um, ah. And you'll be sort of obviously because you're a much better singer. You'll be carrying Chris to a point, but I'm sure he appreciates the fact that you're you've let him in on this particular. Chris is phenomenal. <laughs> his, his voice. Do you know what? As much as I'm looking forward to performing, I'm really looking forward to the ones that I'm not in, so I can actually just hear Chris sing. Right. He's just he's phenomenal. He's amazing. I interviewed him here before. Now he is. Did yeah, you? he's got some career all right behind. Oh, and he and does. Uh, ahead of him, he seems to just still love it, which is the important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, he his. I mean, you've seen his credits. Yeah. He's amazing, and he's going to be singing like Bring Him Home. You know, which. Is, you know, he's filled West End theatre singing that song, so to have that in the way, it's going to be something special. Bada boom! <laughs>